That's why I don't sing. Hey everyone, this is Big Mike, and this is my review on One Punch Man Season 2. Now before I get started, I want to say One Punch Man Season 1, I really love Season 1. I love the character introductions, I love Saitama as a character, One Punch Man. I love his whole plight as, uh, you know, just losing all sense of fighting and, you know, the, the joy of the fight because he defeats everybody in one punch. And it, it didn't get stale or anything, you know, in the first season, I really enjoyed it. So, season two, when it gets announced, I was just like everyone else. I was like, oh my god, I cannot wait for season two. Everyone was really excited about it. I was amongst the many, okay? So, season two was announced, they dropped the trailer. A lot of people were disappointed when they saw the trailer. And let me explain why. So season one was produced by Madhouse, okay? Everyone loved the production quality of One Punch Man in season one and what director Natsume had, was doing. So when it was rumored or when it was announced that he would be walking away from One Punch Man for another project, a lot of people were a little worried. So One Punch Man season two, the reins were handed over to JC Staff Productions and um, director Sakurai, I hope I'm saying that correctly, um, they took over for One Punch Man in season two. And when the first trailer dropped, a lot of people were like, oh my God, this looks so horrible. I can't believe like how bad this looks. Now, I could tell the difference between like season one and season two, but I wasn't one of the ones that was like, oh my God, this looks so horrible. I was just kind of like, okay, you know, it's I, I can tell, but it's okay. I mean, I grew up watching um, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, so I re a lot of the, if you remember a lot of those early episodes, you know they they weren't too polished, but we still love them. You know, so I was just like, okay, it doesn't look that bad, right? So, and a lot of the rumors that were swirling around about the production quality was because of like tight schedules and busy workloads, you know, were to blame for, for that. That's, you know, they were trying to do some some maintenance, you know, for their image. Um, all in all, season two, I wasn't too disappointed. I did like it. I believe One Punch Man season one was better than season two, but I really enjoyed it. Now, let me tell you the things I didn't like, and then I'm gonna tell you the things I did like. So the things I didn't like about One Punch Man season two was basically how, I, f I know it was the same amount of episodes as season one, it was 12 episodes, but I felt like the story wasn't wrapped up. Like in season one, it felt like we got a good, you know, beginning and ending to the story, like of a season. Now, I do understand cliffhangers and I do like cliffhangers a season. However, the ending of this season didn't feel like a cliffhanger to me. It just kind of felt like, it ended in the middle of the season. That was one of the things I didn't like. Uh, I, another thing I didn't like is how they kind of replaced Genos with King. Now, granted, I thought King was, was hilarious, but I could have, like, an episode or two, okay, fine. But it was almost like Saitama was hanging out with King at this point where the Genos, it was, like, was kind of like he was taking his place. So that was another thing, like, I really didn't like. Now, let me tell you things I did like. I really do like the story of the Monster Association and also the hero hunter, Geth Garo. I love the fact that the human, he's also called the human monster, he has many monikers. Um, I, I really enjoyed how that character was like, he always was sympathetic towards the monsters, even as a kid. Like, because when he was growing up, the kids were like, hey, you know, they were picking on him, you be the monster, and you know, you're the bad guy. He's like, well, why the monsters have to be the bad guys? I mean, to me, the heroes just always attack them for no reason. They're like, hmm, you know, makes you think a little bit. So it, he, he, I thought he was fleshed out pretty well, but I just wanted to see more. Like, th that's how I felt with season two. Like, I, I just wanted to see more. I felt like it maybe should have been expanded or maybe longer or whatever. Um, I think um, uh, Dragon Ball Super, really spoiled me because we got like 130 plus episodes back to back like every Sunday and I was like this is awesome and then like you get 12 episodes of One Punch Man and you're like okay when is the next one coming out like that just felt like it ended in the middle so I really did like like I said uh, the Monster Association it was like they were taking it to the Hero Association they're like look 
you have your thing, we have our thing, and we're gonna come after you guys. Um, they had a plan. Uh, the you know king of the monsters, uh, the monster king. I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen when him and Saitama finally face off. I don't know if they're gonna face off anytime soon. Um, I can't wait to see that. That was really cool to see, and just like how he is so powerful and he instills fear, you know, into the monsters in the monster association by like, if you don't do what I say. I'm going to eat you. And he literally does. Like, that was kind of scary. I'm like, and then so everybody's like, oh my God, he's going to eat me. Like, literally, if I don't do what he says. So those things were like really cool. Um, you know, things that didn't change. You know, of course, Saitama defeating everybody with one punch. A lot of people not knowing how powerful he is. Uh, you know, first off, um, you know, like uh, Tornado's sister, when she came with her crew and she's like, hey, you know, you're a B level, you're gonna be in my crew. And he's just like, please, you know what I mean? Like, cause they don't know how strong he is yet. Um, I, you know, I like how they kept that going. Um, and of course, you know, at the end when Saitama just in one punch easily defeats the, you know, huge centipede monster when no one had a chance. I really liked uh, Bang and showing his brother and how powerful they are with Genos. I mean, I really did enjoy you know, when it was action packed, you know, the scenes and everything, I just felt like I needed more out of season two. Season one, like I said, I, I do give the edge to season one just because I felt like it was wrapped up in a nice bow for me. Season two, I'm just kind of like, either give me more or maybe wrap it up a little bit more because that cliffhanger didn't feel like a cliffhanger, it felt more like you just left me hanging in the middle of the story. So, Drop your comments below. See if you agree with me, disagree with me. I want to see what you thought about uh, One Punch Man Season 2. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for all my latest content notifications. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.